Hello friends, welcome to my laparoscopic video channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to prepare mesh for laparoscopic sacrocolpopexy. So this video is part one of a two video series where I will demonstrate how to perform laparoscopic sacrocolpopexy. So in this video, which is part one, I will demonstrate how to prepare mesh for sacrocolpopexy. And in part two, I will talk about the practical aspects about actual surgery of laparoscopic sacrocolpopexy. Just to remind you all, this video is entirely meant for educational and informational purposes. Efforts have been taken to maintain patient's privacy. So as you can see on the screen, I'm using routine proline mesh, which we use commonly for hernial repairs. So for laparoscopic sacrocolpopexy, I will need a mesh of about 5 to 6 cm in length and having width of about 3 cm. So accordingly, I have cut the original mesh into a small part having a width of about 3 cm. So as you all know, for performing laparoscopic sacrocolpopexy, I will tie one end of mesh to the sacral promontory and the other end of the mesh which I have divided into two anterior and posterior sleeves will be tied or stitched to the vault. The anterior sleeve will anchor the anterior part of the vault after pushing the bladder attachment down and similarly the posterior sleeve will anchor the vault posteriorly after raising the peritoneal flap from the posterior part of the vault. All the other surgical aspects will be covered in the part 2 of this video series where I will exactly demonstrate how to fix mesh with the sacral promontory and also with the vault. So as you can see on the screen, I have divided one end of the mesh into a Y-shaped sleeve and to avoid the difficulties during the surgery, I have folded the remaining part of the mesh and I have tied it using plain linen suture. So that's it. Our mesh is ready. Stay tuned for the part two. Thank you.